Welcome to NetSuite's Suite Success demonstration of the purchase management process. I'm currently logged in as the purchasing manager to walk you through how the platform streamlines the procurement process. This is my pre-configured dashboard and it contains reminders, shortcuts and key metrics necessary for me to perform my job. Here you can see reminders for items that require me to take action, which includes all items that need to be ordered. Here, I can see what items I should reorder based upon specified reorder points. Let's order more iPads for location one to get our inventory levels back up to where we want them. With the click of a button, NetSuite has automatically created a purchase order for these items without any data entry. The purchase order will be sent automatically to the supplier via the preference we have detailed on the supplier record. You can receive the items directly off the purchase order, but we can also find shortcuts to the same information from the dashboard. Now that I've ordered more iPads and created a new purchase order, I'll see it in my reminders portlet under orders to receive. If I have multiple orders to receive, I can receive them in bulk through this reminder. But for now, let's look at the purchase order we just created. Here, I can see the items related to this purchase order and can receive these items right from this record. On the item receipt, I can select the location and quantity of items that I want to receive. I can do partial receipts in the case of an incomplete shipment and this helps me control what I receive and keeps inventory levels at my locations accurate. Now that we've received this order, I'm going to take on the finance role to process the supplier invoice and payment. My dashboard in finance looks different from the purchasing manager as I have different tasks and metrics that are important to me. I have a different list of reminders, including purchase orders to bill and bills to pay. From this screen, I can create bills in bulk or individually. Note how NetSuite streamlines the data and pushes the information through versus forcing me to rekey any information. As I save this, a supplier bill will be created and my AP aging will be updated in real time to reflect the new bill. My dashboard will also be updated and by drilling into my current AP aging report, I can see the supplier bill. As you can see from the report, I can drill straight into the detail level all reports in NetSuite are drillable, so I can continue to drill down all the way to the source transaction from this report. There are multiple ways in NetSuite to pay supplier bills. One way is to make a payment straight from the supplier bill itself. Notice how I can handle bulk bill payments, but I will process the specific transaction we've been working with today. The supplier bill is now paid. Finally, I'd like to navigate to the supplier record so I can get a complete view of all activities for this supplier. From the supplier record, I can get a view of all the transaction history by clicking on the Vendor 360 subtab, accessing information like the supplier scorecard, which highlights my total number of orders, their combined value, the average days to receive them, and how often the shipments arrive on time. You have view options like open purchase orders, open bills and credits, top purchased items, items returned, and even late purchase orders. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.